ವೀಕ್ಷಕರು ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಲೋ ಫೆಲೋ ಸೇಪಿಯನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟುಡೆ ಇಟ್ ದುಮಸಂದ್ರ ಡ್ಯಾಮ್ This is where you will end up if you follow Google Maps and the location for the same has been provided in the description section. Hop on to a bund from here, take a short walk and you will be welcomed by the beautiful view of the dam and the reserved water behind it. This is actually called the Dhummasandra Chak Dam. A Chak Dam is a small dam constructed across a waterway to counteract erosion by reducing the water flow velocity. These types of dams are used primarily to conserve soil and improve the lands. Yeah, a beautiful dawn and what a way to start the day. The clean water here was so stagnant and calm that one could see the clear reflection of the world above. This place is around 100 to 115 kilometers from Bangalore depending on where you stay. You will have to drive past Kunigal Junction and Yadur on the Hasan Highway and then take a left ahead to reach this location. Reached here early morning by around 45-7 and it's a very beautiful location. It's so calm and peaceful over here at this point of the hour. It's so nice and the sun is rising and it's so beautiful out here. The water levels were low when we visited this place in August 2023. will provide some pics later of the overflowing waters in this dam there are no gates on this dam since it is a chak dam this dam has been built across veera vaishnava nadi that is river and joins chimsa near markona halli dam my bike ride video to markona halli dam will be available in the description as well as the info button Across the dam the way this has been structured looks like a colorful painting of the nature inside a photo frame doesn't it Please exercise utmost caution and care if you are going to this place as there is no safety whatsoever. I would personally suggest that this is not a place for young kids. This is a cramped path that you have to cautiously tread through. The singing of peacocks and other birds accompanied us all throughout the way and hey we could spot some nests too. These are a couple of pics of the overflowing waters when it's full. It was finally time for us to leave this beautiful location as we were all hungry and had to go breakfast hunting. The mud roads look decent here but there are some patches of road on the way suggested by Google Maps which will confuse you. These patches of the road that I am talking about are clearly off-roading patches and god knows what condition they will be in during the rains. But no worries you will find many villagers on the way to guide you. This is definitely a location to be added to your weekend getaway bucket list. Do visit this place for a refreshing experience. Request to like, share, subscribe and comment suggestions on similar locations that I can visit in the future. Thank you.